viewers welcome to my channel today in this video i will discuss you about the retinoscope the aim of the retinoscopes that in this videos will teach you how to perform a retinoscopy to measure the refractive error objectively first of all we will discuss about the retinoscopy and retinoscope a retinoscopy an objective method of measuring the optical power of the eye whereas a retinoscope of the instruments that we use to illuminate the inside of eye and to observe the light that re reflect from the retina coming back to the principle when ray of light is reflect from the mirror into the eye the directions at which light will travel across the pupil depends on the refractive status of the eye that you can see in this pictures which is given below uh, moving back to the calculation of a walking distance and dioptic power so a dioptic power and the walking distance are the most important while performing the retinoscope so as we know the formula p is equals to 1 by f where the p is equals to power and f is equals to focal length in a meter so as you know the formula p is equals to 1 by f so if you take example a 66 cm we need to convert a cm into meter which is about a, a 0.66 so it's if you turn this 100 by 0.6 it's come back to the 1.5 diopter so if you take a, another example also it's a, about 50 cm so we need to convert and it's turn into the about 2 diopter so as from this formula and as you know as uh, uh, you can see in this pictures that if you go more closer to the patients your dioptic power will be increased so as so you can say that your dioptic power will be depending upon your walking distance the more you go closer your dioptic power will be increased now coming back to the procedure of the retinoscope that a room light should be dim a patient should shift to the vision chart that is 6 meter ask the patients to look at the target which is given by the examiner for distance now this is a very most important while performing the retinoscopes basically the new upcoming uh, students they should follow these rules so the patient's right eye it means your examiner right eye with the right hand okay and patient's left eye then examiner left eye with left hand okay and then observe the movement of a retinal glow that is will be with movement and against movement